Hello everyone, my name is The Farming Man, and welcome back to our Let's Play on Old, on Neville, oh fucking hell, too many map names, Elvingham. Uh, I am joined with Nick, as you can see there. We are going to Hello. harvest some canola before it bloody rains. Are you going to harvest Nick and I'll, yep. we'll just take I'll you in turns. I jump in, and away we go. Off we chug. Right. Let's crack on. Give us a shout when that's... When you get full, I am going to feed the cows. Do they want feeding? Yeah, they want some more mixed rations. And the chickens in the ground. Oh, the cockerel, I should say. Right, anyway, so we are back. I mean, we've had, oh, well, I've had a break. <laughs> Nick's just been waiting for me to come back on for ages. I know oh, we, need, we need to hook up this. Yes, we do. So, what have we done off screen? Well, we've planted a lot of fields full of canola. Come on. No. To try and see if we couldn't get a great demand, but I can't remember if it tells you. And we're also trying to save up for the big, the biggest cedar in the fucking game. <laughs> well, this big cedar here. It's an 80, is it 80 meters? Yeah, 80 meters, and it can plant could plant corn, we could do some uh, May silage. So not a lot's really changed, we're still going. Strong as ever, cedar's in there. Uh, right, let's get these things fed. Oh, right, we best show you the change we've done. The change to the tankers. Uh, we've got the placeable ferts because for some reason on this map there is actually no place to fill up on fertilizer. So we've got the red rock 2000 here. Uh, this is the tanker that I picked and the tanker that Nick's picked is the major now this was released on FSUK and this has got washable it's washable and all that uh, but what I was hoping someone well mainly at Ross <laughs> or anyone if someone could reskin the red rock well reskin the major in the red rock skin so like so that tanker has that skin on it because for some reason when you seem to wash this this red rock it crashes the game so I just wondered if you swapped them over and uh, let it get dirty would it crash the game still probably would still crash the game because we can't I haven't got the console commands and neither has Nick so we can't figure out what's wrong with it but anyway here's our trusty little international we really need to put drive control mod on so we can see Build up some hours with these things, which we've already done. Right, let's fucking fill it up. Oh, we did. We did a lot of. We did. A, I did a lot. Well, we did a lot before we started to record. So we've done some silage. So here's the new silage trailer. Uh, did we record? No, we didn't record bringing the silage. But here in this massive shed is our little pickup silage thing. Well, our chopper. And we did some bloody acres with that thing. We did field five with it to fill up the pit to 65%. So hopefully, compact that soon. Oh, you just need a screenshot of this. You can't have a screenshot. Need a screenshot of that. Fucking hell. What percent you on, Nick? 38. It's not bad. Oh, oops. Oh, bloody hell, hit the wrong button. Let's, get it. Let's give it a wash. Wash it. Clean the windscreen, footsteps, front linkage. Oh, that'll do. It's clean enough. You don't want it too clean. Oh, let's pick up two bales. Oh, these bale forks are the annoying ones. They are, they're a good design, but bloody hell, they're annoying to get these bales off with. Right, let's see if I can remember how to do it. So you stop. I just married to know. Are you fighting with bales again? 
well no I've got that we've got that auto lock thing on but the problem is you have to stop the vehicle and because we haven't got drive control on you can't put the handbrake uh, on and then you have to sort of just grab just oh, fuck it they're in I'm not bothered <laughs> need to make some more grass bales soon as well we had uh, one game once ages ago on FS13 we were playing with someone and we were we asked him to I think like one of the biggest fields on uh, Spring Hill Valley we asked him to plow it with a 3 for a plow on the back of a Ford 3000 <laughs> <laughs> he would have been there for fucking days come on <laughs> hook. yeah I'm not bales what percent are you on me? Yes, I know there's still too much straw because we can't. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of these forks and get the Robert ones in. That'd be fucking better. Oh my god, CPU is overheating. I can hear my brother shouting. I can hear my brother shouting down the corridor from my bedroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, Hopefully that should make some mixed rations. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's two straw bales, two grass bales, and silage. Oh, fucking hell. Somewhere along the line, I fucked up. Right, I know what we're going to do. Next time we make mixed rations, which we're going to have to do again, one straw bale is going in. Not two. I think it's one straw, one grass, and silage. Yeah, I've put two in. Oh, bollocks. Oh, well. It'll bring up silage and grass quite happily. Let's back up. God, this yard is. Eh. That's it. Break the hitch on the trail. <laughs> well, that was clever. I nearly boxed the bloody <laughs> fort lift in. <laughs> oh, let's get to you. So now our yard is actually starting to look like a proper farmyard with just stuff lazing about. Right, how are we going to get it? One grass and one straw. Right. But the problem is we've got silage bales, so we'd have to put two of them in, wouldn't we? Yeah. I'm guessing, so we'll do that instead. I find um, if you put one um, straw, one grass, and then just top it up with silage, that makes mixed rations. Yeah, I'll do that. Or TMR, as Ian Robson calls it. Yeah, the professional YouTubers call it. Just mixed rations to me. <laughs> <laughs> as long as the cows go 100% point, they don't care. And top it up with silage. It's a good thing we did make these silage bales, isn't it? Yeah, it was actually. Thinking ahead. I mean, it did cost a lot more money because we had to buy the baler and all that. Let's try again. Right, there we 
there we go. It's not full, but who cares? Because I seriously don't <laughs> anymore. Right, let's chop the bale ports over here. Yeah? Oh, do you need the JCB? Yep. Oh, yeah. oh my god, this international is like turning a brick. Lot of the flock. Yes, mixed rations or TMR is going up. <laughs> Do they need anything else? Just pure silage they need, but they can try and get to a hundred cows in a minute and then with whatever money makes off the fields we'll buy new machinery with. Let us go. Oh wow, I am too good at this farming driving. I don't write off equipment at all. Fucking hell, we're getting through this field quick, aren't we? Yeah, it's not taking long at all. No, little oil tankers. Heck, oh, feck off. Oh, my God, this farmyard. Have I left myself <coughs> enough room to get brown? Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Yep. Jump. Okay, I don't know what's happened to the auto lock script. <laughs> well, the auto collect sort of script thing. Well, let's just bung these in. I think we'll put the uh, Robert for Robert forks in and get rid of these. Cause, I mean, the the like auto collect thing's good on them, but trying to just you can't just press X and they fall the bales fall off. You have to press like fifty other bill fifty billion other buttons. Oh, you pain it! I just put the auto. Well, well, they're not in the beta section of the Giants website, them ones. No, they weren't off the. Oh, they weren't on the official website, were they? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Uh, they're on um, Mod Oyster. Oh, well. Wow. It'd be good if they added a like a mod where you could like shut the cows in for winter, you know, like you do with dairy cows. You don't leave them out all year. That'd be quite good. Or and there's a certain amount of realism to it. Yeah, or moving them from field to field.
it would be quite good if they just made it realistic full stop. <laughs> you know, when you when the second like you buy cows in and then it rolls around till till about six o'clock the next morning, you're like you do stop whatever you're doing, get out, herd them in for milking and because here they just milk themselves, don't they? They just go to the machine and it. So we are nearly done. So we've fed the cows and Nick has been harvesting. Yep. It's gonna, it's gonna make light work of this, that 18 uh, foot, uh, uh, 18 meter trailer, not trailer, cedar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. What percent are you on? 42. I'll empty it, well, I'll follow you up when you go up the next pass. Yeah, we'll buy it. Uh, Let's buy it now, actually. Mm, milk spreaders, the marshal, we need that. Well, what else do we need? Do we need anything? More cows, wasn't it? More cows. I never have enough cows. Let's keep going till we have. Right, we've got 80 cows now, and then hopefully sell all of this, get to 100. Oh, we're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have to like every little penny we're gonna have to spend on cows to get to a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think a big canola harvest like we're doing now would be. Especially if we got a, especially when if we store it all and got a great demand. Which I think we're gonna do. And then we can fast forward time for a great demand. As long as we don't miss it. There's a one now. <laughs> It'd be good to see if these store, you know, these prices, it'd be good to see if they went up, you know, like milk went up in price or something. I, I stopped to just check the prices off. Yeah. Alright. Let's go pick up the milk spreader. Off we go. So, oh dear. Alright, so pick this milk spreader up, and then we probably won't. We probably won't need to clean. We won't. We won't, we won't need to clean the cows out for ages, will we? Not unless we get a lot of them. Yeah, if we get a lot of them, we'd have to clean them out soon, have we? What are we on now for manure? Oh, if only we planted barley. Is it? Uh, they are on manure. 17,000 litres of manure. And it doesn't look like there's that much in the ship. Right. Right, let's pick this up and then we shall get back. Mm, we didn't plant anything in field 18. Bring it back. So, yeah, Nick, have you got anything for updates that's happening on your channel? Um, yeah, I've got some um, episode 5 up. Um, I will be doing episode 6 shortly. Um, they're a bit few and far between at the moment because I've been map building. 
So um, I'll try and get another episode done as soon as possible and get it up. Mm -hmm. So there we go. You all know what's happening on Nick's channel. You all know the drill. It's linked in the description. So go check it out. Yeah, what's happening on this channel? Nothing much really. <laughs> the same old, same old. My, uh, I've had an idea to, uh, once season five is finished and Aldridge is done, I've had a thought of just doing two episodes, like, so we have two episodes now, what do we have? We have Aldridge, Netherlands and this, so I was thinking of doing one, one video a week of just single player, and then the next... And then two videos on multiplayer, but two different maps with same person, obviously, but just two different maps. Or when Hayden comes on, which will be in August sometimes. That's three of us. That's a good, fairly big number. Well, it's only three. But, you know, still get a, a lot done with. Oh god, just killed a cow. That's, we've got seventy-nine now. Right, so that's all all the manure well the slurry and the manure stuff sorted out it can all live outside back it right up to the hedgerow stick the red rock next to it as well could you shunt the red rock forward no you can't the three put link is done now there so yep yeah. Please go check out Nick's channel. There's quite some good content on there. Um, right, that's that finished. Reverse the major. I like having things organised. This is why I'm doing it, everyone. It might not show in any of my other let's plays, but <laughs> for some reason I like having stuff like this all in a line. Just sort of gives the map a bit of realistic feel, and this can live here. Why, why live it in a shed? Tractor can live outside. Hang on, I'll empty you, Nick. Mm. Hang on. Before you go down there. there. So we've got 10,000. <laughs> so that's the idea we've had, is to do two multiplayer game videos. Oh, I'll... I'll I might actually do just do season six as a multiplayer complete season. I think that would be quite good. The first one we've had, just a complete season of a multiplayer. Three of us. Well, depending on how long it takes to finish season five. Store this. So hopefully next episode, episode 5, we should have quite a fair bit of money in. Well, we're sort of going to sell a bit. Well, actually no, we'll, have, we'll sell it all off screen. And then you can, at the end of it, see how much money we've got. So I'll tip this and then we shall end the video. Oh god. Probably shouldn't try and reverse into the yard, it's a bit... Let's get another prince. Right. So anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, goodbye for me and Nick. Goodbye. Goodbye. And happy farming. Goodbye.